Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. I wanted to explain to people why they're getting splashed on, why people are hitting contested shots in your face, why it's like you can't play defense, and why it just feels like the game is trash in a lot of ways. I mean, again, don't get me wrong, this game is trash. You do hit contested shots. You do hit a lot of shots in people's faces. And and all all of that type of stuff, man. People don't have to think when they go to the rim. I mean, you, this dude, uh, my dog Junior right here could run to the rim like a passing the ball. He's going to dunk on LaVell. It, it just is what it is. They don't really allow you to play defense. I'm going to explain all this to you and let you know why. But first off, we have to start with one thing. What is and what is not a contested shot? This is a wide open shot. Kingpin is going to try to close out on me for whatever reason. It doesn't matter how slow my jump shot is. A contested shot in this game is a shot that you're contesting prior to the player pressing the button. Like in 2K16, if you got there before he released the ball, or really nearly before he hit the ground, then it's going to be a contested shot. It just registered as a contested shot because you can make people miss. The ball was already gone. If you closed out, they're still going to miss. 2K17, you had to be there before his feet left the ground or before the ball was gone. Like uh, like I always say, hey, the ball is gone. I don't know why you're running out here. In 2K18, if you're not there at the time the player presses the button, if you're not already having your hand up, it's not going to count as a contested shot. Now, we're going to show Kingpin. This is a wide open shot. You see, it's already the shot time and it's already come up. So anything he does right here, he might get there, he might not. But uh, it's going to show him, okay, so here he didn't close out. Boom, wide open shot, hit it from three. Now, at the same time, at the end of the game, what we're going to have is a lightly contested shot. And I'm going to show you why it is a lightly contested shot and why I was able to hit this shot. So right here at the end of the game, I cut away. He's here. I'm pressing the button right now. He's not defending this shot. So he he's going to get a contest because of intense D, and we're going to explain that in a second, but it's not going to be a real contest. It's going to be a light contest. So I'm pulling up. You see how he's gone? He's not in the picture. And even though my jump shot is slow, this is why I was telling you guys that a, jump, a slow jump shot will still work because even though he's closing out, right here, he hadn't even put his hand up yet, right? Well, he has put his hand up. And, and I'm getting my grade. So it, it registered him as contestant. This is a light contest. In 2K17, that would be a heavy contest. There's no way I, well, I, I'd still hit it because it was two. But uh, from three, I wouldn't be able to hit it. But lightly contested, ball goes in, game is over with. And, uh, well, I don't have many rock on any block. That game, I think I shot like two. I only took two shots that game. I was playing point guard. That was the game that we had, a defensive game when we were playing. But I'm doing all that to show you why that is this is it right here and i don't understand why you have to change this every time or why it is that that it always reverts uh let me see pro stick orientation it's just like absolute it's just like everything else in this game they told us at the beginning of the year that if intense d contests the shot then it's not going to be a real contest it's not going to count so they really didn't tell us the whole truth if intense d contests the shot for you then it's going to be a light contest. It's always a light contest. So the way to fix that, turn reaction with intensity off because you don't want the game reacting for you. What you want to do is you have to use your right stick. And a lot of people are going to say, well, I'm all, I, I use intensity and I use the right stick. That's why you're getting killed because if you're using intensity and you're using the right stick, you're, going to, you, you, you're just going to give up points. It's just going to happen. People are going to hit shots in your face. And the reason for that is intense D is kicking, is is mapping what the other player is doing, right? That's the computer playing defense for you. So, or uh, challenging the shot for you. So it's mapping what the other player is doing. As soon as the other player goes up, it's going to contest the shot for you. If they contest the shot for you prior to the computer reading that you contested the shot manually, it's going to be a light contest. At the same time, if you contest the shot by yourself, it's going to be a heavy contest. So that exact same animation where he just put his hand up, if intensity does it for me, it's going to be a light contest. If I do it, if the computer reads that I do, it's going to be a heavy contest. The issue is, if you have intensity turned on, then the computer reads it as the computer doing it. The computer will always beat you to, to doing intensity. So 
you have to turn it off and you have to manually contest by pushing the right stick toward the player. That's what you have to do. The other reason for it is, and this is the dumbest thing that I've seen all day, is um, if you look at some of the players, if the players have long arms, let's see here. Look at this, look at this, man. I ain't got no hot spots. I got two hot spots. Uh, what a, we're not even gonna talk about that. If a player has long arms and you look at their stats, my open shot, my open shot three is an 80, 83. My contested shot three is an 86. Don't ask me why this why this is like that. Uh, open shot mid-range is 81. Contested shot mid-range, 83. And then, what, shout out to dribble mid-range. Oh my God, that falls all the way off. That's 73, I'm not hitting anything mid-range like that. And then um, my, my off the dribble is, is 80. But this is the most important thing right here. Your contested shot, if you have longer arms, your contested shots are significantly higher than your open shot. Now, here, my three only goes up to an 80, 83. I can't get it to be 85. I wish I could get it to be 85 because I probably wouldn't miss, but uh, because with 80, 85 is the threshold, but with 86, if I get a light contest, it's cash. I mean, it is gonna be cash over and over. And because people have not set their controller set, and I'll show you how to do it one more time. You gotta go to options and controller settings. And it's just like when you just, just make it a habit like camera relative. When you go down, you, you, you set on, you, you turn on, you turn this to absolute, then go down, turn intensity off. And then, you know, that's it. You're gonna have to do that just about every time. Just like, it's just like changing your jump shot. When you make a new jump shot, whatever it is, it defaults you back to the base. So you have to make the jump shot, go out, go back in, re-equip the new jump shot, and then you go from there. So just get in the habit of doing this because the shot reaction with intense D is what's killing a lot of people. So if you care about defense, if you want to play defense, another thing is I am, I'll show you this too, uh, the second half of it is a lot of people can test. It, it can't be that high because I, I'm a two-way player. And these stats are literally the same stats that I had last year. Lateral quickness is going to be the same thing. I had 61 lateral quickness and shot contested 75. These are the same stats I had blocking 60, 76. All this is the same stats, are the same stats that I had last year on my actual um, 69 small four. These are, this is pretty much the same thing. I think my speed is like 65, something like that. Like all of that, all of this stuff is the same. So if you chose a two-way player, you, you roughly got the same stats that you got last year. If you chose a one-way player, just a, a pure offensive player, your stats are probably in the two. Like you probably don't have really any lateral quickness. You probably don't have much shot contest. And I could be completely wrong, I don't know. Let's take somebody. I don't, I don't think I can see, see a person's stats here, I don't think. But look, all right, let's just go down here and check it out. Look, you, got, you have nearly no lateral quickness. You've got, okay, that's a pure sharpshooter. You got literally nearly no lateral quickness, nearly no vertical, got no strength, no stamina. Oh, well, you got stamina, obviously everybody has that. You got no steel. So what I'm what I'm looking at is this. You're already at a disadvantage if you're like a pure sharpshooter or something. This is a 6'10 pure sharpshooter. So you're already at a disadvantage. So your your shot contest is already probably like in in the when the 40s or 50s or 60s i don't know what it is somebody tell me in the comments your shot contests are, are, are already really low so your shot contest being low combined with intense d doing a light contest see like if intense d a lot of times i can't even tell if i turn mine off because my intense d is going to be much higher than the average person but the average person's intense d is just going to be good enough for a light contest so what i would say do is this Turn off intense D, get used to playing defense with the right stick by yourself, and just go from there. Because to be 100% honest with you, it's just not working out for a lot of people. A lot of people are getting splashed on. They don't know why. They have no clue why. And, and more or less, this is why. I'm just explaining it to you right here. If you, don't, if you have intense D on, it's kicking in before your right stick is kicking in because... You know, we're not just holding, unless you're just holding the right stick. Intensity is kicking in, you're getting light contest, and light contest equal a contested shot. And in all likelihood, instead of taking down down their opportunity to hit the shot or their ability to hit the shot, you're actually raising their chances of hitting the shot because they have longer on. Anyway, man, I hope that made sense to you guys. It's, it's just one of those things that's an entire cocktail that 2K put together. 
and it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but everything literally works against you. It's, it's, it's really simple. Intensity equals light contest. Uh, you, you raising your hand manually is a heavy contest. So intensity equals light contest. Light contest equals a, a contested shot that is hittable, and long arms equal a better contested shot than a uh, than a non-contested shot. And don't even get me started with sharpshooters. They got a 99 contested shot. So you're probably raising if by by challenging them with intense D, you're probably raising their chances of hitting that shot to like 105 or something. That's why they're hitting shots off the dribble in your face. That's why they're hitting shots like um, contested in your face. That's why they're hitting everything. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this shed some light on the subject and uh hopefully we can all make the adjustment because i'm tired of my teammates getting splashed on by sharpshooters and please switch on screens if somebody you know that's a whole nother video man i'm not even gonna talk about that people not knowing how to switch on screens or how to heads so that the sharpshooter can't get in the space because all they got is left right anyway but i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ holla 360 out this mode